Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am here with Amy, and uh, we are going to minister to 10 people. Uh, so, uh, if you would also like to receive ministry in this format, write your name in the comments and we would love to minister to you. Alright, so the first person I want to minister to is Carolyn Lewis. Uh, Carolyn, I was praying for you and the Lord showed me an oil reek. And how you were there praying and there was just oil coming out. And this oil reek has been there for a long time, but it, it's still continuing for a long time. There's lots of oil and it's strong and it can continue. And the Lord has really made you steadfast and full of purpose, endurance. Uh, and He's making you very strong so you can continue. And then I saw the oil that came out of your life and out of the ministry that's around you uh, had this uh, capability to set the captives free and to break yokes of people's lives and really help people to become free as children of God. And so that's the, that's the mandate. And I just felt that the Lord says, good and faithful servant, and uh, um, let that oil flow. Uh, don't, don't give up. Uh, what you are doing for mm -hmm. God means something. God bless you, Carolyn. Amen. God bless you, Carolyn. God loves you. This next word is for Drukki. Drukki, God loves you so much. And while praying for you, I just feel the Lord says that you are such like you are a faithful farmer. And whatever God gives you, you are faithful with it and you grow it. And I just feel how the Lord says, I'm very proud of you and I'm going to supply more. And then, then while praying for you, I saw a picture of um, that you had for a while. Like, you know, these bamboo reeds. Apparently, I could be wrong, but it takes like five years until they grow. So first, they're like so small and they only grow but like in, in a certain amount of time then all of a sudden they just shoot up and I just feel that there have been a lot of things that you've sown in your life that you're like why is this so small but I feel the Lord says behold wait and see those those um, plants those seeds that you've sown is going to um, they're just going to jump up uh, I just feel the Lord says there's going to be massive growth but it's not really usually you don't really see it but but then when you blink again it's there so I, I just feel the Lord say don't don't underestimate it and then lastly, I just feel there's a breakthrough for family of your life. Um, not only provision and finances, but also family. And God's going to bless you and your family. He's just, he's just your, His covering is over you guys. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Dricky, God bless you. Uh, so, uh, John, the Lord is unlocking a door for you. And I see how your ministry is unlocked and how your work um, what you do every day is unlocked and I felt what you do is going to be technical maybe like um, a specialist uh, or uh, an engineer maybe uh, or a technician uh, someone like that but I just see how there's a lot of problems that are being solved and then on the ministry side how the Lord has given you a lot of wisdom a lot of patience uh, and he's uh, raising you up to be a man of faith yes. uh, that is full of the word of God. I was like, God bless you, John. Amen. God bless you, John. God loves you. This next word is for Rochelle. Rochelle, God loves you so much. And I just see how God it gave you like this apron and and all this cooking supplies. And the Lord says, I'm, I'm giving you a project. You have this amount of time and go. And I just see how you rush and you're like making this um, thing. And you know, usually like in those cooking shows, they usually do something that's really meaningful uh, for them. And they say, oh it reminds me of my grandma or something and I see how you make this project and you pour it out but the first time you did it it didn't really work out so well but I just feel the Lord says don't be discouraged I want you to do it again and then you do it again and then but but I just feel the Lord says keep on going do it keep on doing it for me my hand is upon you um I, I say in my Holy Spirit to speak to you and I just see how God is like encouraging you and speaking life it's like you put like these earphones on while everyone's talking negative you are listening to the voice of God while you're like cooking and doing what you are supposed to do and I just feel the Lord says keep those earphones on keep your um, ears fixed on me I just feel specifically um, ears and then lastly I just feel God is is completely healing you and he is giving so much restoration from time of time that was wasted in the past God is restoring that and God is completely healing you. he loves you he's proud of you keep on listening to his voice God bless you Hello, hey. uh, God bless you uh, Rochelle uh, please write us a comment. So the next word is for Joe Shilton. All right. So Joe, the Lord gave me that he's giving you a crown of joy. With a crown of joy comes the might of God. And so the Lord is strengthening you. And so we you always had to depend uh, on others to help you and, and hold you and support you on all sides. I see how the Lord is coming in and he is making you strong and he is supporting you on all sides. All right. Uh, and then the, the Lord gave to me 
supernatural covering. And I felt that the Lord is covering you, is protecting you, but he's also using you uh, as a leader, as a mother. He's raising you up to become a spiritual covering for those in your family that's willing to come under your covering. And how you pray for them, how you encourage them, how they listen to the words of God that's flying out of you, and how you become a force of positivity and of encouragement all right and then the lord showed me supernatural provision and i saw you always had super uh, their provision from one point but then i see how these maybe three places where provision come into your life and it is because of the favor of god upon your life uh, and then the lord gave me uh, everyone shall be healed now i remember on a Maybe a day or two ago when we ministered to you, the Lord also gave to me that everyone in your family shall be healed. But when I prayed, the Lord showed me clearly that everyone that's willing will be completely healed and restored and be jointed to the Lord and grow uh, and, and fulfill their purpose uh, because you pray for them and because they're willing to receive. And I felt that the Lord says you are a covering and that covering provi uh, um, provides for a uh, atmosphere or a, 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 um, a safe environment where people can be healed and restored and set um, um, on fire for God and to love Him and to walk in His purposes. God bless you, Joe. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for Kathleen. Kathleen, God loves you so much and I just feel there's God calls you His beloved. There's just a gracefulness about you and while praying for you, I just feel God is pouring out His grace over your life and how the Lord is training you how to show grace to other people and how to walk in that grace and I just feel the Lord is really, um, is really singing songs of peace and love over your life and then I see how you are praying, trusting God for, um, I, I just felt that you're like praying for your house, I don't know if it's like for your household, for your actual house um, for a breakthrough, a miracle for that but I just feel the Lord says there is breakthrough there is there is I'm putting my hand over your house um, so I just I just feel the Lord says I'm bringing breakthrough for that Kathleen God loves you so much and I, I really want to encourage you um, God has called you to be a shepherd God has called you to shepherd people and to talk to people and to bring into this presence I, I just feel the Lord says now is the time for like a new upgrade how God gives you like this new um this new rod or staff and how the Lord says my hand is upon you I'm with you as you shepherd these people God loves you God bless you uh, I mean awesome Renata uh, the Lord uh, is really strengthening you and he's gonna help you to get the balance between inflow and outflow out uh, uh, um, balanced if I can say it like that all right so the Lord showed me a map and then from the one side of the map provision was coming in and then on the other side of the map there was um, ministry going out and I felt that the Lord says that he is going to give you provision and it's like if I see the map it comes from the, the, the top side so I assume it's from the north where the provision comes from but the ministry goes out in the south and there's just a flow almost like a waterfall where the water comes over the, the edge and then it falls and falls right through and it continues and I felt that the Lord says that the provision is going to come into you and it's going to flow out of you uh, to many many people and so you don't have to fear that there's not going to be provision but you must also not hold up and try to dam up what God is giving to you just release it and give it because the Lord will just replace whatever you've given with more God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Renee. Renee, God loves you so much and I really want to encourage you. Keep on worshipping the Lord. You have an anointing of worship of your life, even just to lead people into worship. God has called you to be a forerunner for that. And I just see how God um, takes like this uh, raincoat and he, and he covers you with it. And I just feel the Lord says, even during storms, um, even, during, even in times where it's like overly sunny or it's whatever the situation is, God has his covering over you. You will be protected and I just feel the Lord says give all your worries and burdens to me and I just see how the Lord has a call of freedom over your life and he's calling you to sing that song of freedom God loves you so much God bless you uh, I mean awesome okay so now we get a minister to Renai van der Baers um, two children uh, Louisa and Werner okay, uh, and then her husband Marius okay um, okay, so let's start with Louisa. Louisa, I prayed for you and I wrote down a few things. So I'm just going to look on my paper. Uh, the first thing the Lord showed me was a whirlwind of joy. And I felt that the Lord says that He has given you a lot of joy, 
but that joy was spinning and it was moving and so it was not accepting the status quo but it was actually changing the atmosphere and the temperature around you all right and then the lord showed me uh, that you're going to break out of limitations and so we um the the outlook and the expectation of your life is limited the lord says i'm going to give you supernatural opportunities uh, that is going to take you outside of that limitations of what people expect you to do and you're going to go forward and you're going to do things uh, that no one in your family has done before uh, because of that joy and because of that faith of yours to enter into the opportunities that God opens up for you. All right. So Louisa, the Lord loves you very, very much and his favor is upon your life. And as long as, as you have Jesus as your first love and you walk in obedience to the Lord, you're going to see how the Lord is going to be faithful to you. All right. So now Werner. All right. So the Werner, the Lord showed me how you are faithful to pray how you study the word of God, how you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you, that there's a, le a level of maturity and wisdom in your life uh, that's unusual for some, someone of your age. Uh, and then the Lord said to me, as you are faithful and you walk with me, just like Noah walked with God, Enoch with, walked with God, Abraham walked with God, the Lord says, I want you to walk with me and my blessing will be upon you. And I will plant you, I will establish you, and you will grow and it might not be uh, fast, but you will mature yeah. and uh, you will mature into a... Uh, a man of God that becomes a pillar in the house of God. Uh, the Lord has um, a lot of favor for your life uh, and He is with you. Uh, and don't compare yourself with others and think I'm going to go faster. You just go consistently at the pace and the Lord is with you and He will bless you. Uh, God bless you, Werner. Amen. God bless you, Werner. This next word is for uh, Marius. Marius, God loves you so much. And I just see how God um, has really called you for such a time as this. And there's a kingly anointing upon your life. And I just feel the Lord says the, the unnecessary people in your life, He's cutting them off. Um, and how God is bringing um, partners, um, people that's going to work with you, um, people of honor and excellence. I just feel the Lord says specifically honor that's going to work side by side with you. Um, God has called you to be a part of a team and how the Lord says I'm building my team um, and then uh, Mars I, I really want to encourage you God has given you a family anointing to be a covering over your kids and your wife and how the Lord says I will supply to you um, you are my son and I love you and I've given you the father's heart to let that light shine and I just I really feel that you um what you prophesy on your kids and speak life of your kids is really is really special. Um, God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Marius, God's hand is upon your life. Uh, he is with you yeah. as a uh, family. Uh, it was good for us uh, to minister to each one of you. Uh, if you would like to receive ministry in this format, please write your name uh, in the comments and we will uh, minister to you. Remember, we are also live every Monday evening, yeah. half past seven, and uh, near, uh, six o'clock, sorry, and then on Friday evenings, uh, half past seven. That's all South African time. Uh, I think in America time, the Friday night is like half past 11 if you're central time and half past 12 if you Eastern Standard Time. Huh? So now um, uh, also support Amy's channels, uh, channels Amy Storm and it's uh, just worship uh, and it's awesome. So you can support that and uh, my Unity with Heaven teaching channel. You can go to that channel and I'll also put a link to that uh, in the description. Um, I love and appreciate each one of you. You guys are awesome. God bless you. Awesome. Thank you, Rich. I mean, there's a little bit of a uh, stretch here that I need. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.